Welcome to HeadShop 12, the premier photo to 3D head software for DAS Studio for the past 12 years. What is new in HS12? One, there's a new love child feature that lets you mix photos. Two, there's a new more flexible features for age, weight, smile, export. Three, there's a new guide for skin blending. Four, there's a new guide to retouching small texture blemishes. And five, there's new flexible pricing for the full product, Gens 2, 3, 8, or individual products for either Gen 3 or Gen 8. Let's start by launching HeadShop from the Edit menu. Each step is helped by the Teach panels, which could be turned off. The photo selection dialog offers choices between a single image or a love child between two unrelated photos. If you just want to use a single picture, click the single radio button. Notice that HeadShop finds 50 individual landmark features on a face and also auto detects the gender. Make sure to choose the correct genesis figure on the left. You can click apply. If you want to create an in-between two portraits, choose the love child radio button. Once you imported the two portraits, click on the Morph button. In less than a minute, you will see the composite. You can move the slider to the left or the right to get a composite that resembles more one or the other portrait. As the software auto detects gender, you may have to manually choose the genesis gender this portrait is intended for. Click Apply. The main window of HeadShop opens with five distinct tabs such as Front, Features, Style, Accessories, and Color. The smooth slider lets you increase or decrease the characteristics of the head. Notice that one side of the photo is poorly lit. You can mirror the better side over to improve the overall texture. Use the navigational tools to rotate the head, zoom in or pan. The direction cross rotates the head in 90 degree increments while the zero box aligns the 3D head with the original direction the photo was turning. The features tab presents three boxes for age, weight and smile. By checking these boxes, shape files will be exported to your project folder. Style tab lets you add hair to your project. Drag over a desired hairstyle. When double clicking on hair, it turns yellow and is ready to be positioned and sized right for the 3D head. With the hair still selected, in the color tab, you can choose a hair texture and even select a color shade for the hair via a color picker. Another neat tool is the Retouch tool, not available in any other competing software. With the Eyedrop tool, we pick a retouch color and choose a brush size. Also, set the transparency to a low number for better smoothness. If we don't succeed at once, we can always undo and try again. We are ready to export.
Headshot will close and transfer shape and texture files to the character in DAS Studio. Here, we can still change the degree of applying a morph in the parameters morphs dialog. Importing feature morphs such as Smile is done through Edit Figures Morph Loader Pro. Use 100% scale to import. Explore the additional morph by moving the slider. Now we change Genesis Female into a 10-year-old using the optional Growing Up plugin. The plugin is in the Parameters tab under Actor Youth Morph. By selecting roughly 50%, the character magically becomes smaller and younger. Instead of importing the created hairstyle, we choose another from the DAS library. We still need to add additional textures for eye and teeth. We still need to add additional features for eye and teeth. In the Surfaces tab, we navigate to irises and browse for the eye textures in the default folder at C drive. Once imported, we apply the same texture to lacrimals, pupils, and sclera. Note, eyes handle differently in Gen 3 and Gen 8. In the following, we discuss how to best match face and skin colors. We start with Genesis 8 base male and launch Headshot 12. Choose an African American male and click Apply. You can clearly see that the face color and the skin color do not match. After exporting the DAS Studio, we open the Surfaces tab and click on the Skin, Lips, Nails entry. This selects a collection of items that we need to change. We click on the reddish color in the Translucency field, which brings up a standard PC color picker. We wish that DAS had an eyedropper to sample colors, but since it does not, we use a free software called Instant Eyedropper. With this tool, we can get the RGB reading of any part of the face color. Once we know the matching RGB numbers, we enter them into the color picker. The new color replaces the reddish translucent color. Next, we increase the translucency weight from 65, the default, to 95. Time to render. The color matches the skin, but the lips are too dark. Let's go back to the Surfaces tab and select Lips separately and reduce the weight from 95 to 55. Render again. This time the render turns out near perfect.